So now in this video we're going to look at uh, power. It's going to be a bonus video uh, for power. I'm not going to do a, a real circuit, just uh, diagrams for this one. Here is a drawing of a battery, cylindrical battery. We're going to assume that it's a alkaline battery of a double A size right there. So being alkaline, we can expect about 1.5 volts. So slightly higher when it's new and fresh, and then it'll go down a little bit over time. But in case it'll be about 1.5 volts, that's per cell. One of these uh, cylinders, AA cylinders, is one cell. It's the basic chemistry for an alkaline uh, battery. Now, the size of the battery uh, is the biggest determinator of how much current it can provide over time and uh, even at a time. But in any case, AA, we can expect about uh, 2,000 milliamp hours according to a couple websites I looked at, if it's a quality building uh, battery. Probably uh, more than that. So, what that means is that uh, mathematically it sounds like a whole lot of current for a AA battery I didn't look at how much they can actually provide at once but if you're powering a load at uh, 2 amps that's what the load sets for a AA battery rated for 2000 milliamp hours 2 amps it should last about an hour an hour where it goes from fully charged to a fully discharged so as I said before you probably don't want to do uh, 2 amps that might uh, damage the battery but uh, in any case you can do less uh, current. One amp of current will last twice as long, two hours. And then uh, one of the numbers I did see was a AA battery tested at 0.1 amps, 100 milliamps, and that lasted for 20 hours. That's how they determined a particular battery was 2,000 milliamp hours uh, with that test. Now, if you have a battery that can do 4 amps, power something at 4 amps, it's going to be less than half of an hour half of this number that you see there. Main thing is though, we have the uh, voltage and uh, the amount of current we can expect over an hour. That's the amount of power we can expect over an hour. So that's the stored energy right there. Uh, wattage is the amount of work done. That's what power is, is uh, work done. How much gets accomplished for the most part. So usually we can't accomplish enough with uh, one cell. Either it's gonna die too soon or get too hot, so we put cells in parallel or it just doesn't have enough voltage to do anything like with an LED so then you put the cells in series the main thing is if you put uh, three of the same cells in parallel right there you got all the positives connected going to one side of the load all the negatives connected going to the other side of the load you end up with the same voltage each one of them is pushing charges with the same amount of force so you end up with the same amount of voltage but some of the current is going through each individual battery right there. So as long as they're all equal, they have the, the same chemistry and everything, then it'll flow through them equally. You get one third of the current through each of them. Ultimately, it's gonna last three times longer. So it's gonna take three times as long before it dies for a given load. And uh, so instead of 2,000 milliamp hours, we'll end up with 6,000 milliamp hours. And uh, you could also provide three times as much current for a given time as uh, one of them. But uh, the main thing is, there's three batteries here, and uh, so even though they're in parallel and whatnot, there's three of them, so we got three times the stored amount of energy right there, stored amount of power, three times the amount of work that can be done, I should say. Now, as I said before, usually you need more voltage. So usually you got batteries in series. If you have an even number of batteries, you can put them in series and in parallel. But in any case, we're not going to go into detail with that. We're just going to look at series now. Right there we got three batteries, you can see negative to one side of a load, and then it's positive goes to the negative of another battery, and that battery's positive goes to the negative of another one, and then that last battery's positive goes to the other side of the load. So they're all pushing current, all three of them. They are pushing them, so the voltage builds up. There's more electrical pressure, higher uh, voltage. But each individual battery, its chemistry uh, pushes current through it. It doesn't know there's other batteries in the circuit or whatnot its chemistry just wears down as it pushes that current through it. So the same amount of current can flow through each one of the batteries as a single battery. So we got higher voltage, so we got more power, but the same amount of current. So again, uh, the power in watts is voltage times current in amps, so that would be 2, and uh, 2 times 4.5 is 9 watt hours right there. So whether they're parallel or series, it uh, is important 
which one they are either you got more current or you got more voltage but for the most part you got the same amount of work that gets done right there nine watt hours if you're using a three watt hour uh, batteries right there now we have a demonstration circuit here and uh, we got an LED probably uh, green or blue they take about three volts the indicator LEDs before they start conducting so that's what that stands for is the forward uh, voltage of the LED how much it takes to conduct in the direction that it conducts easily so it builds up that three volts nothing's being done with three volts then you exceed three volts and the LED lights up the rest of the voltage is going across the resistor that sets the current so we got 4.5 volts total minus 3 volts and we end up with 1.5 volts across the resistor divided by 150 ohms it sets the current so after 3 volts the LED conducts pretty much freely the resistor is what limits the current based on the voltage across it so we got 10 milliamps of current the same as 0 0.01 amps right there so this math isn't complicated I assume you already know it by now so I'm not going to go over it in great detail we have a uh, total circuit wattage so the amount of work that is being done at any given time so 4.5 volts times 0 0.01 amps is 0 0.045 watts right there that's not complicated math 45 uh, milliwatt for the uh, total circuit right there that's how much work is being done the LED emitting light and the resistor heating up we can break that down further as we said before 3 volts builds up across the LED it's uh, preventing itself from conducting current and lighting up until it has 3 volts across it and then trying to add additional voltage uh, gets it to emit uh, more light because more current flows through it but in uh, any case it holds down the voltage to about 3 volts so 10 milliamps of current flowing through it we got about 30 milliwatts of uh, power that uh, how much work is being done and so most of that is light that's photons being knocked out of it and uh, going out into the room or wherever else it is and uh, some of it is heat though there is a little bit of resistance so it's gonna get a little bit of heat but most of that power is uh, light now we got the resistor that is limiting the uh, current we got 1.5 volts across it 10 milliamps of current going through it and uh, it's about 15 milliwatts so that's one nice thing about keeping the voltage low is for a given amount of current for a circuit the resistor won't get as uh, hot because it doesn't have to fight back the current as much and uh, waste work waste uh, power so 15 milliwatts so those add up though 30 milliwatts for the LED 15 milliwatts for the resistor in this particular circuit 45 milliwatts total so let's go to how long this lasts now so as we saw before when you got uh, three batteries in series here it's the same amount of current as a lone battery so the lone battery here is uh, 2000 milliamp hours so are those and uh, so we end up with uh, 2000 milliamp hours 10 milliamps I accidentally wrote uh, 2000 but uh, you end up with uh, 2000 divided by 10 is 200 so you can expect this LED to stay bright uh, relatively bright for probably 200 hours now we can also look at uh, the watt hours so when it comes to batteries that's really important you want to look up the uh, watt hours because it can get confusing with milliamp hours because how much power it pr uh, provides depends on the uh, voltage there so you got to keep those in mind but ultimately if you know the uh, watt hours you know the amount of uh, stored power how much work can be done with that uh, battery so you may have to manipulate things to get different voltages or whatnot but again we got uh, the power here 9000 milliwatt hours divided by uh, 45 milliwatts that's how much is being used that's how much it can provide over time but in case we end up with uh, 200 hours again exact same number right there so in any case this is important to uh, know how to do if you're planning out your power needs with uh, batteries and uh, whatnot and uh, so the more examples you see the better you'll get at it and the more intuitive it will get and uh, the better you'll be at uh, power electronics so hope you enjoy make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot I'll see you in the next video